Beneath the veneer of skepticism, reality bears witness to chilling truths. In the haunting corridors of history, where shadows dance with undeniable evidence, remember this, the stories are true. Prepare for a revelation. Where the supernatural is stripped of fiction, and the unknown is laid bare, are you ready to confront the undeniable? The stories are true, and the echoes of reality await. All right, buckle up, because I've got a tale that'll make your hair stand on end faster than a porcupine in a balloon factory. So picture this. East Riddlesden Hall, a 17th century manor perched above the River Eyre, right smack in the middle of Yorkshire's paranormal hot zone. We're talking a place with more ghosts than a Lemures convention. Now the history here is as rich as a chocolate fountain at a billionaire's birthday bash. Built in 1642 by some big-shot clothier named James Murgatroyd, this place has seen more drama than a daytime soap opera. There's talk of a blue lady who took an unexpected dive into the pond and never quite left. And a grey lady who got herself bricked up for some marital mishap. I tell you, love triangles and ghostly squabbles, it's like Shakespeare meets Scooby-Doo. But wait, it gets spookier. Ghost hunter extraordinaire Mark Vernon claims he's captured one of these spectral critters on film. He waltzes into East Riddlesden Hall and boom, ghostly shenanigans galore. The ghost decides to make Mr. Vernon its new BFF, following him around like a lost puppy. Now that's what I call a ghost with commitment issues. And don't think the scares stop there. The place is like a haunted house on steroids, with more paranormal activity than a poltergeist pool party. National Trust ownership? Ha! <sighs> like that's gonna scare off the resident spooks. Folks working there have more ghost stories than a Lemura's storytelling circle. Kids wandering around, mistaking ghosts for tour guides. Classic mix-up, right? But here's the kicker. A staffer spots a kid in old-timey clothes, wandering the halls, thinking he's part of some historical reenactment. Turns out, the only thing historic about him is his ghostly status. Talk about a ghostly prank that'll make your hair stand up faster than a porcupine in a balloon factory. So, if you're ever in Yorkshire and fancy a good scare, East Riddlesden Hall is the place to be. Just don't blame me if you start seeing more ghosts than a haunted house realtor on overtime. Thanks for joining us on this eerie adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, don't forget to subscribe. More mysteries await. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay curious.